Hey, hello my Pokemon fans and friends. It has been a very long time since I've recorded a full video like this. Today, we are going to be opening this build and battle stadium kit for Fusion Strike. Um, Brilliant Stars is literally less than a month away at this point. I actually think um, maybe 20, 28 days left until it launches. Very excited for that set, and very excited for the return of character rares. That is something that a lot of people are looking forward to. We get some dice. We get our usual huge stack of energies that most people don't really care about. But what's cool about this, oh, and of course counters, we get two build and battle kits and four additional booster packs. These are meant for you and a friend to basically create a pre-release for a little tiny pre-release for yourself at your home. This is a really cool idea, and I honestly am surprised they didn't think of this sooner. So I'm going to readjust the camera to be facing a little bit more downward, and we'll get right into these packs. And we're back. So we have two build and battle kits and four additional booster packs. I think first we'll go into the booster packs to see what we get. Um, take that code out of there. All right, one, two. Oh my, hold on a sec. Look at that. Look how beat up these cards are. How could the Pokemon Company even... Let's let's skip over this. Let's see what the rare is. It's just a Santa Scorch, but how can they ship this in such horrible condition? Wow. We are off to a bad start. Very bad start. Horrible quality control. But hey, let's not let's not get upset yet. We don't know how the rest of this is gonna look. Now this pack looks a little better. I'm not seeing any edge damage or anything crazy like in that last one. Charge bug, judge, excadrill, shelter, voltor, hand sage. Q-Fant, Gligar, Marsh Tomp Reverse, ooh, and a Pikachu V as our first ultra rare pull of the day. Very nice. Let me get the garbage out of here. Um, also, I love how the boxes for these look too. Very cool. Much, much better than the Elite Trainer box. Uh, well, storage boxes look. Oh, oh my God, the quality control is, look at this. The edges are literal squares and they're, the bottom is squished. Oh, we got a Cinderace though. Very cool. Take that. But hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Look, look at these last three cards here. The tops are literal squares. They cut these horribly wrong. I'm putting these on the side and saving them. Oh, man. And to think that this was sitting here for so long, we didn't realize how how bad it looked. This is the last of our four um, additional packs. Let's see if uh, let's see if they beat this one up too. They did. This does not look great for the pokemon company because i got this from oh, see look at that like super damaged cards and a cursula is our rare that is a kind of exciting but also kind of disappointing start to this opening the four packs were in miserable shape but let's uh let's keep going let's keep going maybe the build and battle kits will be better i am hoping they will be better all right so uh i'm gonna before even looking at the promo we're gonna take the cards out and the promo here is a latias very nice and it looks um it looks to be in good shape i'll crack that open Maybe later. I'm not sure. 
Let's do the four packs in here and let's see if we can get some more uh, error cards. Yeah, see, these are not showing up in great shape. Grubbin, we got a Mankey, a Crowagunk, a Clauncher, and a Palo Sand. One thing that I feel is, um, one thing that I feel is very, very underappreciated about this set is the artwork. Uh, the cards in this set have great artwork. Very, like, look at that. Very pretty. Very pretty artwork. And also, something I also uh, really like. Very, very cool artwork. Something I also like, and a clay doll regular rare, is seeing legendaries at uncommon. Because, instead of just, like, in the rare slot, because I feel like a lot of younger fans love seeing stuff like that and that's really cool for them you know it's cool to see them get a pokemon they're really really super excited about it a common or more common rarity we have a snubble a geo dude a growlith and a genesect v that's a big hitter because that's a very playable card very cool and our final pack for our first build and Battle Box. Let's hope it's something good. Water Energy, a Primate. Uh, look, again, is a Rude. Very cool. Delcaddy, Clampearl, a more Peko. I'm really getting kind of tired of seeing that one. Skarmory, a Shelmet, Plusle, Vikavolt, and hey, a Hollow for Alligator. I'm always down for Hollow Rares. You guys know that. I don't mind them as much as other people do, but I do personally think they should disappear and be replaced by Vs and have Vs appear more often. But moving on, another building battle kit. Let's take, oh, how upsetting. Another Latias. But four more booster packs. Four more chances at good cards. Let's get right into it with our first, our first, there we go, pack. I haven't actually sat down and recorded a video like this in a while, and it is killing my back because I have to do this on my floor since my apartment is so tiny that I actually don't have any space for like a really cool setup and a deoxys hollow which is one of the best hollows you can get in the set yeah we really lack space here it's very difficult to open things because it's uh like they're they're not kidding when they say new york apartments are very 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 tiny and cost an arm and a leg fire energy bug catcher uh, Fusion Strike Energy, didn't even see that. Turtonator, Snorlax, Snom, Dreepy, Makuita, Rukidi, Tynamo, and a Tyranitar V. We are hitting V after V after V, but no V Max and no trainers or secrets. But sometimes you just gotta take what you can get. And, oop, nudge the camera. And be happy with it. Pukamuku, Schoolgirl, The Trio, Phalanx, Choodle, Volby, Dupider, Meowth, Shauna Reverse, and a Gudra. Gudra. Can't get over how he looks in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Very cool. And finally, a Fusion Strike Pack. Final Fusion Strike Pack is what I meant to say. Let's see what we get four to the front let's just go diggersby and mark cactus so overall we pulled four regular v's and two hollow rares out of 12 packs so every other pack we got a hit which i'm fine with 
I just really wish we didn't get burned on these. Because, I mean, two Latias, like, they definitely didn't quality control these. So, buyer beware when you do. If you do choose to pick one of these up, just remember, buyer beware. There's really bad quality control on these, obviously. Hopefully, yours is a little better than mine was. Although, to be fair, mine was pretty good. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, follow if you didn't already. Uh, give me some, share the video, show your friends, blah, blah, blah. You know, the usual end of video garbage. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and looking forward to seeing you next time. I appreciate every single one of you. Peace out.